What's up, guys, and welcome back to Estate Agent Simulator. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. Our troublesome tenant, Jason, has finally vacated the Mega Mansion property. So today, we're actually going to be able to get in there, get it furnished, get it decorated, and then, of course, you know, mess with the exterior, internal walls, flooring, stuff like that. So I'm definitely looking forward to it. Hopefully, some of you are as well. Uh, but I had to let a considerable amount of time pass before Jason was ready to move out. You know, we kind of signed a rental agreement with him. I couldn't just force him out. That would be that would be wrong. Uh, but something that I learned about this game while just sort of letting a bunch of time pass, I wasn't wearing my headphones. Usually when I'm playing this, I'm wearing my headphones for obvious reasons. But just just listen to what it sounds like when I remove my headphones, okay? It's bad. It's really bad. And then I put them back on, and it's fine. But it makes my PC absolutely scream, dude. It's it's very, very loud. But anyways, uh, something else that I noticed is the game thinks we own two house number 20s, which is, which is strange. Uh, but you can see here, house number 20, um, this one has 175 square meters. This one has 560, so obviously the 561 is the one we're standing outside of. So what I want to do is just try to sell the one that doesn't actually exist. You know what I mean? So let's try to put a price in here at 100000 That's probably going to be too... No, that's too cheap. Are we going to get a smoking deal on a house that's not even real? Okay, 250 is is definitely pushing it. Uh, what about 200,000? Still kind of up there. Okay, 150. Still a little expensive. Let's do 135 then, and we'll just we'll just send it and see what happens. All right, the ad has been created, and then this one I'm not going to do anything with just yet because we obviously need to get in here and, and get the whole thing furnished. Oh, dude, we're already running out of time for the day. Not ideal. Not off to a good start, but let's see what we can do on the exterior. We did like this sort of brown siding for our personal home, and I actually really like that. Um, but I think I want to try like a peach, maybe a blue or a red. This looks kind of red. Let's see what this actually looks like. Oh, and of course, I'm going to have to go through and clean it all up again. Ooh. Ooh, the red kind of goes hard. The red do be kind of going hard, though. Okay, what about for the flooring? Let's see what we've got going on in here. Maybe this guy? Change it up a little bit so it's not the same as all of our other houses. Mm, the boards are a little skinny. The boards are a little skinny for my, for my taste. What about this herringbone? That could look cool. See what we think about that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think that's the move, 100%. Now, the walls in here are already painted all white. But I am still going to try to see if we can change it. Maybe it's maybe it's not this one, you know? No, it is, it is this one. Okay, well, we're going to leave the inside all white then. I'm going to go through and clean some stuff up really quick. And we can start putting some furnishings in here, dude. It's honestly crazy to me that we have an unfurnished base value of upwards of $7,700. That is absolutely cracked. Okay, it still says that it's 25% dirty, but I've been up and down this place like three or four times and I haven't found any dirt or, or schmutz up on the walls anywhere. So I think that's just gonna have to do it. We do have a couple of pieces of furniture out here in, in the Raptor. Uh, so I think I'm just gonna take everything out of here and get it put inside the house, though, we go back in here really quick god that red really does look nice um it, it appears that we have a new bar now it says zero out of 20 and then obviously has a, a picture of some furnishings next to it so i don't know maybe that means we can only have 20 pieces of furniture in a house i guess we're gonna have to find out right okay oh dude i need to eat I need to eat a Sapalapagus. Let's have some Gerber King French fries and a Peepus. 
puts us up to 61%. I guess that's just where we're going to stay. Um, I did find some bugs, and I think that's probably contributing to our dirtiness. So we're going to head back there real quick and, uh, and get out our insecticide. See if we can kill these little buggers. There we go. It seems like they're dying off. All right. That was it. That was it. Why they were outside instead of inside, I'll never know. But let me walk you guys through what we've got going on inside. I really didn't think it was possible, but I feel like this place is maybe too big. I just didn't really see that being an issue, but turns out it is. Especially since we have the new limitation on the amount of furniture we can actually have. Um, if you look at our, our total value right now, it's 11605 If I place this down in here, it's 11 six eleven like it, it barely goes up anymore and this is like one of the higher dollar items so we're just gonna leave all that in the truck and i guess save it for another house but here we have a very very large living room we have again a very large dining space with only four chairs even though this house probably sleeps like 20 uh, and then in the kitchen we have the essentials the refrigerator and a washing machine for your turkey or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just trying to put stuff in this house and, and fill the void. Second floor, nothing going on up here. And that's because the attic just kind of seemed like the better spot to put the bedrooms. We have one small twin size bed in here. We have maybe a, a queen here in the master bedroom. A couple of different cabinets and stuff just to make it look more lived in laundry basket as well it's got to be the most depressing bedrooms though i've ever seen like there's no windows up here at all i guess maybe it would have been better just as a as an attic space but that is it the mega mansion completely furnished i guess uh but the outside looks immaculate so works for me all right time to head back home and head to bed I actually haven't said a word to my wife in quite some time now. So let's just maybe check in and uh, and see how she's doing. You can see our family value. That's just kind of what we're calling it is now up to 15%. So it seems like for every $10,000 you make, that would give you 1% up there for that value. But let's see maybe if she could give us some money. $8,200 dude i need to talk to our wife a lot less i suppose because we just got way more money from that oh and we also have oh sorry woofer almost walked right past you not gonna make that mistake again um, but it looks like we have our assistant over here and a guy looking at that house that doesn't actually exist i think that's my favorite part about today is oh there's no rent of course thanks i guess you can skedaddle that's cool i'll close the door behind you she never does it Always just relies on us to do it for her. All right. Um, oh, I actually wanted to look at this house. So it is 17, but the game says it's now 20, which is not not accurate whatsoever. And that guy decided he didn't want it anyways. So we're going to throw some trash away and uh, and talk to this lady. Riley, hi, handsome. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, Riley. I can tell you that right now. I want to buy this house. Uh, in the sale advertisement, it is a one plus one room and it's listed for 135. Can you make it 91 for me? How about a hundred G's? All right. How about that? I can do a discount. Uh, that is a little bit more than I thought, but you convinced me I accept it. Dude, free money free money because again we don't actually own that property and that puts us up to 259,000 buckaroonies dude we're looking good we're looking real real good now though for the real house number 20 we got to get the advert going on uh on this one we're not going to sell it we're going to rent this one since we just spent a bunch of time furnishing it uh, i probably should have taken photos of the outside too but that's all right uh wasn't it 11 thousand six hundred or something like that that's on the more expensive side what about just 11 g's still pretty up there ten thousand why does it say that it's so expensive do, do they realize what this house is uh what about two thousand see that's considered cheap okay seventy seven hundred then 
still pretty expensive. That's what we were charging uh, Jason previously. So what I'm going to do for this one is not list it today. Instead, I'm going to wait till tomorrow so that the game can actually register. I, I think it's getting the houses confused. So I'm hoping that it'll actually register which house number 20 is. So I'm going to save here real quick, uh, leave, and then come back. Nope, it's still showing... Are you kidding me? The house value at $11,600 as being expensive. Oh, hang on. But now this is saying that we can place 45 pieces of furniture in here and it's all dirty again and obviously doesn't look a thing like what we just did to it. But I think we I think we fixed it now officially. Maybe. I went ahead and just changed the whole house back to the way we had it before we sold the imaginary house. So it's looking much, much better now. But we're still at 74% dirty, and there aren't any bugs in the backyard this time around. So once again, I think we're just going to have to head home and, uh, and head to bed. Hopefully things are magically fixed in the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got an auction today. It's been a while. Honestly, it has been a while, but now since we have this mega mansion, we have to fill it with a bunch of furniture. So I figure it's probably a good excuse for us to head down here and we'll just see what, what dude bro has for us today. I don't think we're going to be able to, um, like, unload the shipping containers. We're probably going to have to leave everything in place. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to fight everyone over every single container here yet again. I ended up spending about $3,000 on each container. So there better there better be some good stuff in here. The bed, I guess that's that's nice. Another washing machine. We got a globe back there. Nothing crazy just yet. Oh. That is new. That is definitely new. I can't say I've ever seen a, a computer in here before. We've got a candelabra, also new. I think the safe I've seen before. Haven't seen the, the office chair. Okay, not terrible, but it doesn't look like we got any safes or any, like, super rare stuff. Maybe the computer is, I guess. Who knows? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it in there for right now. Like I said, we're going to go back to the neighborhood and check in this time on house number 20. The real house number 20. This is a good sign. It's still red. Excuse me, who the heck are you? I own... I'm supposed to own this house. What is... What is happening? Where's my house, dude? Is this not it? Is this not house number 20? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. Maybe she's bugging out and she's not actually supposed to be here i'm very confused very confused right now it does seem like the dirty value is decreasing as we're picking up trash so that's nice and apparently we can still fill it with furnishings so i'm just gonna continue as if that lady was never even here and we never saw her All right, lady, good luck trying to sell this house out from under me. I guess it is nighttime, so she's no longer here. But since she's gone, let me take you guys on a little tour of the Mega Mansion now, starting off over here in the dining room. I wasn't able to secure a proper desk, so I'm imagining whoever is, is going to rent from us is just going to game it out here in the dining room, maybe swap this chair around for the office chair over there in the corner. Uh, living room, pretty simple, pretty much the same as it was before, but now we have this thing. Whatever that is. It's expensive, I know that much. Uh, good sitting area here with some extra storage right as you walk through the door. Candelabra, radio, vase, just some decorative pieces here in the, in the front entrance. We've got a, a gramophone over here if you want to play some records, little sitting area. Maybe you have your coffee there in the morning. Again... We have the essentials here for the kitchen. No real change there. Uh, the second floor I did actually furnish this time because we had enough uh, furniture pieces to be able to do that. Um, but it's um, 
It's a dual monitor setup in here. I don't really know what I was going for. It's just, it's a room. It's a room. That's all that is. Maybe have the news on one of the screens and sports on the other. I haven't the slightest clue. Up here, kind of same thing. We've got another little love seat with one of those vintage retro TVs. Master bedroom looks very nice. Could probably use some more decoration in there as well. But um, we're looking at upwards of $10,000 per day for the rental on this property. We're going to shut the door, though, head home, and head back to bed. Good morning, Wooper. Who's the best boy? That's right, you are. You definitely are. I did also clean out all of our uh, shipping containers and use the furniture for the Mega Mansion, so that's already done and sorted. We cleaned out a little bit of the garage, but not that much. We still have quite a bit of furniture to work with in there. But let's head over to our office this morning. And the first thing we're going to do is clean up some trash, because there's always trash literally every single day. I don't know who keeps putting all this trash out here. Um, but we're going to talk to our assistant here. She's just going to say there's no rent to collect today. We're going to dismiss her, and she will be on her way. We have one home. Maybe. I, I really don't know for sure that it's even ours anymore. Um, but we were looking at upwards of $10,000. So let's see if that'll work. That will work. Uh, but since people are probably going to try to, you know, talk us down a little bit, I'm going to list it for $11,000, which is a little bit more on the expensive side, but I hope people will uh, will go for it anyways. Oh, I actually did snag a photo, perfect. All right, the ad is made, and all we have to do now is wait. See, like, what house is this, dude? It's not even red, nor is it a mansion. This is the first house that we bought on display here again. Yeah, something, um, something's up. Something is definitely up. I'm going to save really quick just so I can get that out of the way and we'll wait for our first client to approach. Oh, here we go. Speak of the devil. Let's see, brother man. You interested? Potentially? $11,000 per day. We got a Jacob here. I want to rent this house in advertisement for 17 days. Uh, I'll give you 93. He's very angry. Very angry. I will do $10,000 for you, sir. That is the lowest I'm able to go. Okay. He decided that his money is better elsewhere. If his name is Jason, dude. If his name is Jason, I am going to freak out. Let me just get some food here real quick. Prepare myself. It's Nicholas. Okay, completely different guy. Maybe. What can I help you with, Nicholas? 11 days, $11,000. This house is so cheap, I accept it. It's never a good sign. Sorry, sir. That is never a good sign. Well, uh, what we're going to do for the rest of the day is fill up the truck, and then after that, that's pretty much it, because now we have to wait for Nicholas to actually move into that property tomorrow. Big day today, Woofer big day hopefully next time you see us we'll be like i don't know 10 or eleven thousand dollars richer let's see what uh scarlet has to say without any problems eleven thousand dollars thank you so much scarlet and then i really quick i'm just going to check the computer to make sure that we still do own just the one just the one house okay good good everything seems to be sorted though we're not going to know for sure until we head out to the neighborhood to see if there's some other estate agent trying to sell our house out from underneath us no cheryl today i'm just sort of assuming that that's her name uh we're not able to go inside all the furniture has been removed dude brother man come on don't do me like that after I worked so hard to get the entire thing furnished. I'm starting to think... I'm starting to think we might just need a new save altogether. Because things just haven't been quite right for a while. Well, as far as the map is concerned, we do still own just the one house. So I guess that's good. And also Scarlet, our assistant, will still be able to collect 
our uh, our payments from our tenants each day, which is nice. But since we have so much extra money, we're going to buy another house. This will likely screw up our other house that we have. But I'm kind of willing to take that chance, you know? Like I said, we might even just need a new save after this. So I'm going to build this one plus one bedroom, 160 square meter home with a garage for 122,000. There we go. Construction can commence. And then let's see, let's see how many additional workers we can actually hire. Um, okay, I want to rent it. We're renting workers now. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so there's one. Here's two. And then let's just let's just keep it up. We've got plenty of money. I don't have any more employees. All right, so four seems to be the max then. But hopefully that'll, you know, make them construct this house way faster than normal. But to tell you guys the truth, I do think that's probably where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.